Scuba diver and engineer Ludovic Grosjean has managed to shape a career that focuses on both his passions. His goal is to save our oceans using technology and people. He was named as one of Australia's most innovative engineers last year. I caught up with him recently to hear more about his story. Hi Vic, really great to, to see you and to talk to you today. Um, as you know, we're talking about uh, difference makers in engineering and technology, and you are such a difference maker in what you do. do. Could you just start by telling us uh, what your job is and, um, and what you do? First of all, I'm a mechatronics engineer. And that means that I integrate technology to monitor the environment and I reduce the impact of human pollution on our oceans. I mean, that sounds great. What, what made you get into that? Well, first of all, when I was 17 years old, I started to, to work, you know, and my job was a scuba diver job. So I realized how much pollution there was uh, ending up in our oceans. So I decided to learn technology and design solutions which could help saving our oceans. That is really exciting as well. And I love the background you have there with Ocean Innovators. Tell us a bit more about that. Through Ocean Innovators, I want to promote the work of the younger generation. Uh, they are the one who actually can help us to find the solutions which could help to save uh, our oceans and make the world more sustainable. So tell us some of the um, technological innovations that you've seen so far. Well, one of the innovations which amuses me incredibly is a shrimp pole solution. How do you use um, the shrimp pole uh, elements that is unused when you eat uh, prawns and they can use it to create packaging uh, which is biodegradable. So what's next for you and Ocean Innovators? What would success look like to you? The success would be when we would have uh, successfully gathered all the successful ideas which work around the world help to save oceans and achieve the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. What advice would you have for young people out there who are clearly concerned about the environment and our oceans and want to get involved? Every little action counts. So especially if we are seven billions to taking the steps to make this world a better place. Great to talk to you, Vic. Thank you so much and best of luck with it all. I mean, it just sounds fantastic. And so great from my point of view that it's, um, that it's inspiring that next generation, because that's what's really important, I think, within engineering.